Hello, hello everyone. Lisa Zimmer here today. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Bear with me while I adjust my dress straps here so that I don't give you a show. Actually, can I? Yeah, I can. Hey, Zimmer. Oh, I'm just going to do it while we're waiting for peeps to get on. All right, if I don't adjust my straps, I'm going to end up pulling it up the whole time. So just bear with me while I make my straps a little tighter for you. Don't want to give your show you a show today, especially if your kids are watching. Hope everybody's having a fantastic week. We sure are at the Zimmer House. We've been through all kinds of fun stuff lately that I'm going to share with you. A little sarcasm there, but it's the Zimmers, so we make everything we do fun, even if it's getting four wisdom teeth removed, having mammograms, all kinds of good stuff going on here at the Zimmers. All right, let's see how that works for you guys. Cool beans, look at everybody popping on. Lots of giveaways today. All right, so we're doing all kinds of fun stuff. That's better, that's better, all right, yay. Right, so for those of you who haven't seen my posts yet, I got my hair done for real yesterday. A real haircut, not done by me. I got highlights, I got low lights. Lisa Zimmer's getting fancy. Got something in my eye. I'm just having a heck of a time today. All right, we're gonna dig in. So um, let's get started. Let's dig in. Okay, so we got all kinds of giveaways going on. So. What am I talking about? First of all, last week, the last Thursday of every month, I give away a coach bag. I forgot to do it last week. And I always think it's more exciting to hear your name called on camera rather than just the post. So I didn't post the person's name. I'm gonna announce it on camera today. So yay, Diane. I don't know how to say your last name, Diane. D-U-P-E-S. So dupe or dupes or um, you. Hopefully I'll get to meet you someday because I know you're in doTERRA and because I've seen your posts and you can tell me how to say it correctly. All right, so Diane is the winner of um, last week's coach bag giveaway. So how do you get entered to win the coach bag? Super cute, by the way. See how big it is? Like, it's big. I mean, it's not too big to put in your purse, but it's big enough that you can fit, like, doTERRA supplements in it. You can fit oils in it. So congratulations to Diane, coach bag giveaway winner. So she got um, entered because it's based on how much interaction you have with us here. Do you share recipes? Do you comment? Do you answer questions? Like when I'm on video, it's hard for me to keep up with questions because hundreds of people come on, right? Do you help each other out and answer questions for one another? Are you um, a collaborator? Meaning if you've got ideas and recipes and all that, do you share in the comments? That's how you get entered uh, to win the monthly coach bag giveaway, all right? So we give that away uh, the last Thursday of every month here at Yay Oils Public Education on Facebook, right? So I also go over to my Instagram and include my Instagram piece, okay? All right, so what else we got going on? Um, I'm Lisa Zimmer, forgot to introduce myself. I was so busy fixing my dress, so I didn't give you a free show today. Um, I'm Lisa Zimmer. I've been using essential oils for six years as of March. I was not a health and wellness person before um, doTERRA. I was a pill popping, self-medicating um, train wreck and um, on 13 prescriptions and lots of health problems from the age of four to 42. I'm 48 now. I've been prescription free six years as of last month. Count them, six years. Prescription free six years out of my 48 years. All right, six years prescription free. Okay. So what we do is we choose 
to use proactive health care in our home. So what does that mean? Okay, in the old days, we would not take care of ourselves, wouldn't get enough sleep, wouldn't drink enough water, drank tons of soda, ate all processed foods. If something hurt, I took a handful of ibuprofen. I could take six, 10 ibuprofen a day, ate little holes in my digestive system, destroyed my health from the inside out, right? So now what we do, we don't wait and damage our body. We don't wait until we've broken it to do something about it, okay? Proactive healthcare. I'm proactive. We're gonna talk about how Terrazyme helped me with a health uh, situation this week and how Terrazyme is helping my son. These are digestive enzymes, okay? We never took digestive enzymes before doTERRA, right? So what these did for us, we use them proactively we take them every day so that we have fewer health situations arise, all right? Yay, Terry just commented she's getting closer to pill-free. I'm so excited. For those of you that um, don't know my friend Terry, that's a huge testimonial, huge testimonial, right? Terrazyme is not back in stock yet, but we're hoping that it comes back soon. All right, we had um, enough to get us through some health concerns that we've take, tackled this week. Okay, so my family, husband, 16-year-old son, brand new 16, and myself take Terrazyme every day. It helps your body recover more quickly from all kinds of stuff, okay? My son's a cross-country runner. I give him more Terrazyme and more uh, doTERRA essential oil vitamin pack during cross country time, okay? For better muscle recovery. Sorry, I have a drippy nose. Terrazyme helps with muscles, muscle fibers, the muscle tissues, helps with the collagen, helps with joints, helps with clearly digestive, right? Um, runner's butt helps with anything digestive and helps the body repair itself by giving it the enzymes that it needs to perform those functions, all right? You can't take Terrazyme and just magically fix everything, right, in one fell swoop. You take it on a daily basis so that these body functions have the opportunity to work well all of the time. So that when you have a bout or a flare-up of diverticulitis, it can be less severe, or I'm going to tell you some things that I did for that. Or if you have your wisdom teeth taken out and your child has to take a painkiller, which causes constipation, right? You make sure and you take extra terazyme to keep things moving, right? Because Terrazyme helps break that down, okay? So how did Terrazyme help me? Well, I have not had to deal with diverticulitis, but maybe, might only be once in six years until recently, so this would be the second time in six years. Because taking Lifelong Vitality Pack, doTERRA essential oil vitamins, doTERRA's probiotic, and I only recently started taking Terrazyme last year, so I can't credit Terrazyme with maintaining a healthy colon for the last six years, right? I contribute that to the vitamin pack, PB Assist probiotics, and doTERRA's Digest Zen oil every day, okay? That's maintained and drinking lemon in my water, grapefruit in my water, and cinnamon. Those key things have helped maintain a healthy digestive system and healthy intestines for the last six years, okay? I did some really, really dumb things. Um, I tripped to Arizona the weekend before last. I ate a ton of pomegranate seeds. Anyone with diverticulitis is cringing right now. I ate a ton of pomegranate seeds. Then all last week, I ate a ton of cashews and almonds right? Not supposed to do that. And ate popcorn every single night, like a half a bag with my son, right? 
terrible decision making. And to make it worse, three times last week, I forgot to take my doTERRA essential oil vitamin pack LLV. Things have been a little insane around here, right? We're trying to get absolutely everything done that we can. Dentist appointments, eye appointments, mammograms, dermatology, wisdom teeth, like it's insane around here. Okay. And so um, I fell off the wagon. All right. So I ended up with severe abdominal pain. It was so bad Saturday night, I contemplated going to the ER. All right. Anytime you feel concerned, you please use your best judgment. See a physician if needed. I know the answer was going to be um, to spend three to six hours there and have them go, yep, it's diverticulitis. Go home. Here's the antibiotic and here's some whatever. And um, I wasn't on board for that. So I stayed home and did some self-care. I drank lots of water. I took my lifelong vitality pack vitamins. I took GX Assist which has oils for digestive health. And if you look at each of the oils in here, oregano, go grab your book and look up what oregano is for, right? Diverticulitis um, is um, food caught in pockets in your intestines and um, they become infected and inflamed, okay? So oregano, tea tree, lemon, peppermint, lemongrass, thyme, and caprylic acid. To have a better understanding, if this is something that you deal with, Holly's like, Jax Assist. Yes, Holly knew it, all right? Look up each of the ingredients in GX Assist to get a better understanding of why I do that. When I say look it up, what do I mean? Grab a book. I like the tools that I get off of Bitly Oil Tools deals. I put that link at the top for you. You can look up the oregano and thyme and all that in your book. I have a new book that I love and is going to be one of my giveaways this month. Everyday Essentials Guidebook. You can look them up, right? There are benefits to some of these that I can't read on camera, so you need to go grab your book or Google the benefits of oregano, health benefits of thyme. Google essential oils, um, for supporting your intestines related to diverticulitis, right? We use essential oils and these supplements not to prevent, treat, or cure disease. We use these products to support a body system and how it functions, okay? I just want to make sure I'm communicating clearly for y'all. Okay, so GX Assist, we're talking about my digestive support. On guard soft gels, right? On guard soft gels have on guard melissa, right? Rosemary, oregano, eucalyptus, cinnamon bark, cinnamon leaf, black pepper, clove bud, wild orange. Okay, so I'm taking one of each of those with every meal. I'm eating mild things like soup and smoothies. All right, so then I need to tackle my severe discomfort, okay? So I'm taking Copaiba soft gels, peppermint soft gels for, peppermint soft gels are special. They are um, enteric coated. They're specially designed to get the lower part of the colon. They don't get destroyed in the upper part of the stomach by the stomach acid. Same thing with Doterra's probiotic, okay? These are special, so I needed those for my digestive um, situation this week. Peppermint and deep blue, and then I also took turmeric. So how did I do that? That's a lot, right? I took a GX Assist and an On Guard with every meal. I took... Deep blue, copaiba, peppermint, and turmeric. When did I take those? I took uh, one of each before bed, except copaiba. I take two of each every night. Okay, I took uh, one of each before bed, two copaiba, two PB assist, and three terazyme. Okay, that's before bed. That's a lot of capsules, but guess what? It was better than the alternative, which is having a uh, your colon dissected, right? Take, take the take the supplements, people. Okay, 
Then all day when I got up on an empty stomach, I took three terazyme. Between meals, I took three more terazyme. So unfortunately, me not taking care of myself this week blew through our terazyme, right? And I already said two PB assisted bedtime, okay? And boom, good is new within three days. So oils on my abdomen, right? So I went to my book called Symphony of Cells. I don't have that in front of me. You can get that on truewellness.com, T-R-U-W-E-L-L-N-E-S-S.com, truewellness.com. And I did the digestive protocol oils. My husband put those on my back every night and then rubbed them on my stomach. All right. So you can take care of yourself in a healthy, natu natural way. All right. My son got his wisdom teeth out this week. We had our hands full. Let me tell you, on Monday, my husband was going back and forth between our bedroom and Jackson's bedroom, taking care of each of us, bringing us handfuls of doTERRA supplements and water and all kinds of stuff to take care of us and oiling us up, right? Back and forth, back and forth, poor guy. All right, so my son got his wisdom teeth out. Let's talk about that. Ginger behind the ears uh, right before the appointment to help with post-anesthesia nausea, right? And ginger is on sale this month, all right? 10% off ginger. So I forgot to do that, right? So what happened? I totally forgot to do that. You can also do peppermint beadlets, peppermint oil, um, ginger oil, okay? So he got home. Scott took him to the oral surgeon. He got home and he started throwing up in the sink, okay? Post anesthetic nausea, right? So, and that's my fault because I forgot to send the ginger with them. Okay, so that's one use of ginger that's on sale this month. Um, okay, so before um, the appointment, my son took deep blue pills. Copida soft gels and turmeric capsules, one of each a day for a couple days. Did not take anything the morning of the surgery, right? The morning of the surgery, he prepped his mouth with a mouth spray, right? I had him make a mouth spray using doTERRA's uh, 30 milliliter um, spray bottle, and I put 10 drops on guard, 10 drops clove, 10 drops frankincense, and five drops helichrysum. Okay, I put a couple pumps of MCT ingestible coconut oil and the rest water. Okay, so he sprayed his mouth with that. Okay, that helped numb it a little bit, helped with mouth health, right? And then um, he could swallow it or he could rinse it with water, okay? He, when he did the spray, he just swallowed it and then took a drink of water, okay? So that was on the way there, okay? And that was it. And then um, had the surgery. They had a roller in his pocket, my husband did, and he just did a five milliliter roller and it had 10 drops Deep blue, lavender, frankincense, and helichrysum, and the rest coconut oil. And then he rolled that all over his face as soon as he woke up. Okay, he didn't have pain yet. So rolled that all over his face and under the jawline as soon as he woke up. Okay, they came home. We did follow the oral surgeon's instructions. <clears throat> My son took the post-operative antibiotic amoxicillin, and he did take a hydrocodone. Now, my son hasn't had ever anything like hydrocodone, and he hasn't had an antibiotic in six years, okay? But we have some friends and family that um, did not take uh, post-operative antibiotics 
in the dental surgery realm. And it was a very, very bad idea for them, right? So that's just something that um, we chose to follow through on, okay? And um, my son was in a lot of pain when the drugs were off. And so I didn't want to mess with that. I didn't want him suffering unnecessarily, okay? So we combated the side effects of both of those things, right? The constipation with Jackson was rolling digestin three times a day, taking a lot of terazyme because terazyme helps speed up the self-healing process, right? Tissues, helps support tissues. So lots of terazyme. And then in between the dose of the antibiotic that was recommended, um, he took a PB assist, okay? So we chose to combine traditional healthcare recommendations from the oral surgeon with our um, natural options, okay? We chose to do both. All right, so he got up from a little nap of a couple hours. He literally played video games the rest of the day and night, completely, um, totally fine, no problems whatsoever. The swelling began that night right? He kept applying his pain oils to his face. That night, we grabbed our Symphony of Cells book, the one I just talked to you about where I use the digestive protocol for myself. We grabbed the Symphony of Cells book that night, truewellness.com. I can't give you the recipes, right? Because they're um, it's a copyright thing. So we want to respect them and purchase their small book. I just get the little workbook. It's like eight, 10 bucks, something like that. And on my son, we did the um, healthy inflammatory protocol. Oh, we did that the night before his surgery too. 10 oils up and down the spine and all over the back. And he went to bed the night before. Um, Monday night when he had his surgery Monday morning, we did the symphony of cells healthy inflammatory uh, protocol again. He's had the healthy inflammatory protocol every night. And then he drinks lots of water and goes to bed. Okay, so we wanted to keep the swelling and the inflammation down. And he sat propped up in bed. We added peanut butter to all of his shakes for protein because protein helps with the recovery process and helps your body heal itself. And we use doTERRA trim shakes. So every shake he has has doTERRA vanilla or chocolate. Well, let me tell you, I had the chocolate one because... Um, I'm like, that looks too good. Give me some of that. It was chocolate trim shake, a giant glob of peanut butter, milk, and then some really high fat, local, high quality vanilla ice cream called Uncle Bob's. Oh, it was so good. Okay. Not the healthiest, but it was really good. All right. So shakes, whatever, right? He's done fantastic. Everybody kept saying, ooh, day two and three is really bad. He'll be in bed all day. He's played video games the whole time. His life has not been... Um, disrupted whatsoever. Okay, we're going to finish out the antibiotics because I am not comfortable um, with uh, the potential. It's a very, if as an antibiotic, so it's a mild one. I never, ever, ever use fluoroquinolone antibiotics. They're too dangerous. If they prescribe you that, please ask your doctor for another line of antibiotic um, treatment. Okay, so too dangerous. Google it. All right. So he took the amoxicillin and he um, hasn't, he had, I think, two pain pills, uh, Monday afternoon, Monday bedtime, maybe three, and then one Tuesday. Okay, that's it. He's done. Okay, so easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, at bedtime, he rolls his cheeks some more with the deep blue lavender frankincense helichrysum roller. And then I take more frankincense and layer it on, more helichrysum and layer it on. Helichrysum is amazing for the healing process. Um, it's worth the price for us, okay, for um, speedy healing. And then at bedtime, before he goes to bed, he does a mouth rinse, right? Remember that spray? We couldn't get his mouth open wide enough from the swelling to do the spray, so he just did a shot glass, okay? The shot glass was two or three drops on guard, clove, frankincense, helichrysum, 
a teeny tiny amount of MCT oil, just a teeny tiny amount um, to make this sting or bite of clove and on guard not taste so bad. And then water. He opened his, he could only get his mouth open like this much. So he poured it in and then went from side to side, like no swishing, went from side to side, made sure it got on top and bottom, okay, side to side. And then it was his choice whether he wanted to um, spit or swallow it, okay? So the first day he spit it, and uh, like the third day he swallowed it, okay? And that's for maintaining health in the mouth, okay? So that's it. That's all we did. He, and he was perfect the entire time. Um, no crying, no complaints, no big deal, okay? We got um, some frozen blueberries, some... My mom um, picks blueberries every summer, so we had bags of frozen blueberries in our freezer, and he held those on his cheeks the two nights that he had a little bit of swelling. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No pain, no, he's good. All right, so wanted to share all those tips and ways that we use these oils for a healthy inflammatory response and our supplements. These supplements are easy on the stomach. Beet blue, copaiba, turmeric. I'm missing one. Deeplu, papaya, turmeric. No, that's it. Deeplu, papaya, and turmeric for a healthy inflammatory response. All right. Now, yesterday, then, I did the um, an ID protocol, infectious disease protocol, just as proactive health care for my son, right, to make sure that we're keeping that healthy in there. Okay, it goes throughout the whole body. So when you traumatize your body and you are exposed to germs, you are more susceptible to getting ill, right? So he had trauma at the oral surgeon's office. Lots of people going in and out of that place. They were trying to maintain um, the COVID regulations, right? Scott had to sit out in the car, but nonetheless, that's a lot of people going out. That oral surgeon's office is like a manufacturing plant, man. They are in and out, in and out, in and out. So I wanted to make sure that I was doing everything possible to boost his immune system because his body had been traumatized, right? So on guard soft gels, um, just diffusing on guard throughout the whole house. He has to roll his feet with the bomb roller every night at bedtime. So that's on guard, frankincense, lemon, oregano, and melaleuca or tea tree, right? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so. Those traumas we went through. What else have we got going on? Oh, I have good news. My mammogram came back great. So I have an interesting story there. Um, about 10 years ago, I had a biopsy for a lump in my left breast. So thinking no big deal. You know, my mom had one done. She said it's just this punch thing or something like that. And it's just really easy, no big deal. Well, the surgeon took it upon themselves. We didn't know this was a possibility. We didn't agree to it, didn't know it could happen. He didn't like what he saw, so he ended up taking like, taking like a quarter of my breast. No one told us that could happen. No one had permission to do that. So anywho, long story short, um, luckily I have big boobs that keep growing. So over 10 years, it's filled back in. But nonetheless, I have a giant scar on the left side of my breast and nerve damage. So they damaged nerves when they did that. So I had nerve damage and pain down my side for a couple years and nerve pain in my breast and no feeling in the left half of my breast and in the nipple for the last 10 years. I've not felt anything in the left nipple and the left side of my breast, okay? I know I didn't have nerve pain anymore, um, but okay. So in the last year, I've been paying attention to oils for breast health to keep the breast um, tissue healthy and clean and detoxified, right? Because I used unnatural deodorant for too long. Well, in the last six months, I've had pain um, some shooting pains in my breast, especially the left breast. So clearly I was panicked and um, couldn't get in as quickly as I wanted because of life and then COVID. So I was a, incredibly nervous about this uh, mammogram. I did two types. I did thermal imaging in Florida 
And then um, I came back and my OBGYN really um, wanted me to make sure and do a regular mammogram because, you know, he's not into natural health and wellness options. And I just wanted to exhaust all possibilities, okay? Well, it turns out the oils that I was using for maintaining healthy breast tissue and detoxifying my breasts also help supporting healthy nerves. So guess what? That aches and pains I was feeling was my body repairing itself because I chose proactive options that gave it an environment and gave it what it needed for that tissue to repair itself. So those pains that I've been having are nerves coming back to life. I now have feeling, not all of it, but feeling in the left side of my breast, and I do have 100% feeling in my nipple. So get your mammograms or whatever your doctor recommends to rule anything else out, but it turns out my healthy options of applying oils for breast health, right, DDR Prime, frankincense, pink pepper. Um, I have some great recipes, oils, grapefruit, oils for detoxifying the breast, used with coconut oil, right? Brought back the health of my breast. Helichrysum is great for nerve support. I know, right? So crazy. Um, the woman that did my thermal imaging was into natural health and wellness and oils and supplements. And we both agreed before she even did the thermal imaging that that's probably what was happening. In fact, it was my thought process. And she said, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited you're here and that I get to talk to you today. You sound like my kind of people. She said, I don't uh, push my natural health and wellness ways on my patients or my clients. Um, but that's the first thing I thought of when you told me your story is I bet your oils protocols is help bringing your um, damaged breast tissue uh, back to life. So I will post the recipe for uh, one of many breast health recipes, Antonia, when I get done. So yes, I better write that down, breast health recipe. So anywho, I'm pretty excited. I think it also helps um, a lot of the things that I do, right? Lifelong vitality pack. Ooh, Terrazyme. So Terrazyme could be a big contributor too. I started taking high doses of Terrazyme the end of last summer or last fall. And the um, uh, interesting uh, sensations, aches and pains in my breast started in December. So I bet Terrazyme had a huge role in that as well. Okay, so um, anyway, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we talked about my digestive challenges this week. We talked about Jackson's wisdom teeth removal. Let's talk about more about ginger and fennel because ginger's on sale this week. Um, and fennel um, is free. Okay. Oh, and what products for hair growth? So we'll talk about all that. Lindsay says someone's got a question. Um, let's see. How many capsules can you take in a 24 hour period? So good question. So it depends what it is. Um, I know you can take quite a few. So what I do is my biggest concern is digestive upset. So most of the capsules I take with food, except for terazyme, and then PB Assist, you can take any time. GX Assist, I make sure and always take with food because of the oregano in there will upset my tummy otherwise. Um, that's a good question, Lindsay. I don't know exactly how many capsules you can take in a 24-hour period. I take a lot um, when something's not right. Gosh. That's a good question. That Whoever has that question, I would email product support at doTERRA.com, right? Product support at doTERRA.com. Okay, let's talk about ginger and fennel, and then we'll talk about hair. 
So everybody knows to use doTERRA's hair care, right? We still have the big um, bottles of shampoo and conditioner, root to tip serum and hair glaze. So I always use shampoo, conditioner and root to tip serum. I wanted to take a picture of what happens to me when I don't use doTERRA hair care. So we traveled last week and I used hotel shampoo. They did have a shampoo that I like the smell of. It was a Paul Mitchell something or other. It was a Marriott Hotels. Okay, I have giant sores now and disgusting, juicy acne. When I say sores, like I have a welt, like the size of like a walnut cut in half behind this ear and it's filled with fluid and sores, right? That's how bad other hair care affects me. I have juicy, disgusting acne around my face and it's all from not using my doTERRA hair care when I travel. I was being lazy, I had it in my bag, but of course I get in the shower and not bring my doTERRA hair care um, travel with me. Um, I just forget and so I just use what was in there and now I'm suffering the consequences. I have welts and acne all along my hairline, behind my ear and around my face, it's disgusting. All right, so we'll talk more about hair care in a minute. Okay, let me look at some tips on fennel, okay? So we love fennel for weight management, curbing cravings, hormone balancing, digestive health. You can take a couple drops of fennel in water and drink it for digestive health. Tummy upset, heartburn, you got it. Add a drop of fennel in water or tea if you're craving sweets. Add one to two drops in a vegetable capsule for digestive health. It also supports a healthy metabolism and circulation when taken internally. So like two drops in a shot glass, a little bit of water, take it down. Fennel is also great for milk production for breastfeeding. You can massage it on the breast and take it in water. All right, let's talk about ginger. Now I use fennel every day but it's in my Digest Zen roller, right? My Digest Zen blend already has fennel in it and already has ginger in it, but we still also make sure and get these separately. One, ginger's really good for pain and um, uh, nausea, and what's that when you're like dizzy? I guess just being dizzy, right? Dizzy spells. So um, my parents have ginger in their dizzy uh, roller. They put it behind their ears every day to maintain healthy balance because um, they're seniors. All right, ginger, internal use supports healthy digestion. It aids in occasional indigestion and nausea. It's soothing and calming. And you can apply it over the lower abdomen topically as well. All right, lots of benefits to ginger. So let's also grab a book and look up the benefits of fennel and ginger. All right, so I go to F for fennel. Anything digestive, right? Fennel's also good for hormone balancing during your menstrual cycle premenstrual cycle, take it in a capsule or apply it to your abdomen to balance and tone female organs. Uh, it's great menopause, perimenopause time, any female related times. Helps with aches and discomforts, cramps and spasms. It's great for uh, low milk supply. It helps with fluid retention, cough and congestion, Slow bowels, helps balance blood sugars, and it's great for curbing hunger. So fennel, fennel is free this month. Get your free fennel, right? If you're an existing customer, those are the ones that qualify for fennel this month. You can get free fennel if you're an existing doTERRA customer. It means you had to have gotten your account June or before. If you order by the 15th of this month, 125 PV product value, it's like dollars, but the dollars in PV can be a little different, right? Make sure and order 125 PV in your doTERRA rewards cart, the LRP, by the 15th, and they'll just send you a free 15 milliliter bottle of fennel, okay? Now let's look up ginger. Ginger is 10% off this month. Ginger is good for aches and discomforts. Did you know that? Joints, back, all right. 
spasms, sore muscles, nausea. We already talked about that. Vertigo, that's what I was thinking of. Dizziness, right? Um, memory and brain support. Anything digestive. Hormone and blood sugar um, balancing, right? So fennel and ginger are your metabolism dynamic duo, okay? Managing blood sugars, managing cortisol, managing other hormone production, balancing those things, and digestive. We all know digestive is the root of everything, right? So getting these in your daily routine um, is an excellent choice. Yep, anything digestive, also respiratory, and any kind of um, aches and discomforts for fennel and ginger both. Okay, so love it, love it, love it. Get your free fennel, get your 10% off ginger. All right, you can still get, as far as I know, this awesome $275 bottle of rose, pure rose, for free using points, or you can purchase it. I got one, of course. Um, not free with points, unfortunately for me. I cashed in a ton of points last month, so I didn't have enough left, but I bought a rose, because what did I get with a rose oil last month? Free Immortel. I got all four of my free Immortel last month. All right. So, uh, Rose, how can you make, now that you got this awesome rose bottle, what can you do with it? Well, you can make your own rose rollers, all right? So you can do, if you want to do a mild one, 10 drops rose, the rest coconut oil or jojoba oil or whatever um, carry oil you would like. If you're going to use it all over your face, jojoba oil is an even better option, right? Um, or... 15 drops or 20 drops, depends on how strong you want it, right? If you were to guess how many drops were in a doTERRA rose roller, they don't tell us, it's proprietary information, but mathematically, because I love math, um, it would make most sense to assume that there's 20 drops of rose in a doTERRA rose roller, right? Because this bottle of rose is $275, and it has 85 drops, okay? Um, one fourth of that is like 21 drops, right? And the price of these rollers times four is about the same price as this. So it would make sense that there's probably um, 20 drops of rose in the doTERRA rose roller, okay? So you can make it a little more mild if you like, but anyway, um, rose is fantastic for the skin. Um, it's fantastic for hormone balancing libido, mood, sleep, um, maintaining healthy bacteria balance. Um, grab a book. The benefits of rose are endless, 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 endless. Let's talk about the emotional benefits for um, fennel and ginger. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a giveaway with this book this month as well. If you haven't seen my Christmas in July, I'm going to do giveaway a day. Every day there will be a new winner. And we'll, we're going to send out probably most of the prizes at the end of the month all at one time. And there's a winner a day. So 31 winners of prizes, books. I have a Mavi Shave Lotion. I have t-shirts, I have all kinds of rollers, it's going to be fun. So go on over to my business page, Lisa Zimmer Life and Oils, or my Instagram, Lisa Zimmer Oils, and participate in the daily Christmas and July giveaways. It's going to be fun. We need a little fun right now, don't we folks? We need a little pick-me-up. All right, let's see this is a new book i got um, from the link that i posted the oil tools deals um, i'm not familiar with this book and how it's laid out here it is okay so i wanted to look up this is feeling good with essential oils oils for emotional health so i'm going to look up fennel and ginger fennel is used to support these positive emotions and experiences it's harmonizing Helps you have a healthy relationship with food. So um, I don't know if I've talked about it before, but I had such a sugar addiction even when I was ill that I would make my mom drive me to Peoria, which is an hour round trip drive. And I would take a frozen lunch um, 
thing that my son used for school and I would go to the health food store and fill it with the healthiest peanut butter cups that they had, like 20 of them and come home. And I ate them all day. Like I had a horrible sweet tooth and food and sugar addiction before doTERRA. I've never fully understood until just now uh, why that went away. And I know it's from taking doTERRA's lifelong vitality pack essential oil supplements. And now I'm going to guess because I use Digest Zen every single day, the fennel in it must be helping with that helping me have a healthy relationship with food and helping me not have cravings. I never realized that. And I knew it was happening. I don't snack anymore. I don't have issues with food. I don't um, overindulge, etc. cetera. Fennel helps with inner peace, helps you be more present, more responsible, and feel satisfied. Negative emotions it can help with. Addiction, bitterness eating issues, um, trauma, self-doubt, unhealthy cravings. Fennel may help reduce anxious feelings in users who use it aromatically. Just smell it. Slowly inhale fennel directly from the bottle, allowing the aroma to come to you to experience its soothing effects. I'm digging this book, folks. Here's what I like. It has that section, but then it also has a section for um, all kinds of stuff like you can look up your health concern like fear what oils should I use for fear focus what oils should I use for focus I'm feeling disconnected or discouraged and it gives you entire oil protocols so I'm digging this book this is in that oil tools deals link that I posted all right let's look up ginger Ginger for emotional, how to support these positive emotions and experiences, body positivity, enthusiasm, focus, passion, and feeling uh, vitality. Negative emotions it can help with, apathy, eating issues, feeling debilitated, discouraged, overeating, shock, feeling stuck or weak-willed. Ginger oil has high levels of zingiberine, I don't know how to say that, which supports healthy um, blood pressure levels and is an antioxidant to the body. Place one drop of ginger oil with a squeeze of lemon juice in 12 ounces of cold water to experience the vivacious energy of this oil. Super cool, right? Ginger and fennel. All right, here's some other books um, you can get at. They have a um, Everyday Essentials book, which is awesome. I love these. If you um, love having little mini books handy for travel, um, or if you do the doTERRA business and you love to give customers little starter books, I'm stocking up on these two. The A to Z guide and the amazing diffuser recipes. If you buy them in... Um, 50 or more uh, volume, you get a huge discount. So I'm going to start stocking up on these and giving these to my customers. All right. They also have essential oils for maternal wellness. It was time for me to get some new books. Essential oils for pregnancy. I haven't gone through this one yet. I can't. Oh, this one's good. Okay. Um, and then essential oils for pets. Janet Rourke's book essential oils for pets. So these are all on that oil tools deals. Most of these are brand new. I know these are all new. All these are new. Actually, all of them are new. Yeah, all these are new. So I'm going to be doing some giveaways um, for the Christmas in July for some of these books as well. So super fun. So participate in Christmas in July over on Lisa Zimmer Life and Oils, my business page, um, and get entered to win. You can win more than once, so keep participating every single day. We're going to do oils and t-shirts and books and products that you can't get anymore. It's going to be super fun. All right. Hair. We talked about the shampoo, conditioner, and root to tip serum. But what are some good oils for hair health? Well, I can tell you some off the top of my head. I added in my giant doTERRA shampoo pump an entire bottle of rosemary. It was a lot. I think on the next one, I'm going to do half a bottle of rosemary. Here's a little tip I noticed. My son ran out of his yucky shampoo that he used to use. I 
chose not to fight that battle and I didn't replace it. And he started using my doTERRA shampoo with the whole bottle of rosemary in it. His face acne and back um, and shoulder acne, it's fairly excessive, <gasps> is getting better. Rosemary. All right. So you, I've talked about, right, my acne with hair care. So duh, why would it not help my son? Hello. He probably has the same issues I do, but I just figured that out this week. Okay, I'm looking up oils for hair. So I'm going to go to my book, and I'm going to look up hair, see if it's got a... Yep, sweet. Okay, so hair section is page 304. Oils for dry hair. Ready? Sandalwood, patchouli, geranium, copaiba, and rosemary. Those are oils for dry hair. So you could add those oils to your shampoo well I'm not going to sit in the shower and take the lid off of five oils um, and add it to my hand every time so I would probably add those to my shampoo bottle or take always keep okay this is one of my tips always keep your empty bottles okay here's why um, you can take an empty bottle of patchouli, geranium, copaiba, rosemary, doesn't matter. Take an empty 15 milliliter bottle, and if it's one of the oils that you're going to use in your recipe, you don't even have to clean it out. Pop the dropper top off, right, and do math. So these have 250 drops. There's five oils I want in my hair recipe. So just divide that, right? So that'd be 50 drops sandalwood, 50 drops patchouli, 50 drops geranium, 50 drops copaiba, 50 drops rosemary. Keep that bottle in your shower. Put your shampoo in your hand. Undo it. Two, 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 two three drops of your mixture, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Also keep your empty bottles, especially if you're new, because say you're empty a bottle of breathe okay it gets annoying as you go out um, into creating your normal everyday lifestyle routine to only have one bottle of breathe in the house right that doesn't work here this old house I live in is enormous right I'm upstairs looking for a bottle of breathe and I know it's downstairs I'm not gonna go get it okay so when we get a new in the early days not now I just buy more um, in the early days, right, I'd empty that bottle of Breathe, I'd order a new Breathe, I would pop the top off of this Breathe, and I would put half of it in here. So I had, now I had two bottles half full of Breathe. I hope Nikki's watching this. I know this was a challenge for her. Now you can keep a bottle of Breathe in your room for your diffuser and in your daughter's room, or a bottle in your every oil case and one in your bedroom, okay? Continue to keep your empty bottles so as new bottles come in, you can divvy them up between multiple bottles and you can have multiple bottles all over the house. I keep one master oil um, case and it has every oil in it. And then additionals are in people's bedrooms, in the kitchen box, next to the recliner, in the office for different things, okay? So you can buy one bottle, divvy it up between multiple empties throughout the house, okay? I'm not sure how much to add to a shampoo bottle. If I was adding this to doTERRA's giant one, I don't know, I'd probably do the same, like 50 drops each, and add it to my giant bottle. Okay, um, loss of hair, clary sage, DDR prime, thyme oil, rosemary, an arborvita. Add those to your shampoo or make a scalp spray. We have a few recipes. Um, we have mermaid spray. In this group on Facebook, Yay Oils Public Education, in the search bar, you can type mermaid spray, and my post comes up um, with the recipe for the mermaid hair um, scalp spray. In fact, I made one um, yesterday for a customer. So let me just tell you what it is. And she loves it. Um, I also want to talk about something interesting, right? So I have some uh, older clients, seniors, that um, are on a budget. 
And what I love is they choose to use our doTERRA vitamins, even though they can't afford to take the full amount, okay? I shouldn't say can't afford. I don't know what their financial situation, but budgeting-wise, they limit their budget to a certain amount, okay? I've got a number of, of members like this. It is so much better to take one of each of our vitamin, our essential oil supplements, our vitamin pack, than none at all. All right, so if you're working with friends or family who are like, oh, I can't afford $80 a month for uh, vitamins, one, once you feel this good, you might change your mind, but two, well, then don't, all right? Take one of each a day. Um, a couple in particular that I'm thinking of, they can afford whatever they want, but they choose to take uh, one of each a day, and their health benefits have been incredible, right, with one of each a day. Now, if they took more, it'd probably be, well, we know it'd be even better. But the point being, it's better to take one of each of our essential oil supplements, okay? If that's what you can afford, do that. It's better than not at all. You're getting nutrition, you're getting omegas, you're getting oils, you're getting health benefits. They have more energy. Neither of them have been sick for two years. Um, one of them has had improved sinus support, okay? with one of each a day. I take two of each a day. Unless I'm traveling a lot, then I'll take the full amount. You decide what you're comfortable with. Why do I take two of each a day? Well, there's three of us in my family taking them, okay? I feel great at two of each a day, so that's what I do. My 16-year-old feels great at two of each a day, so that's what he does. My husband likes to take one of each with every meal, so three of each a day, so that's what he does. You do what you're comfortable with. A little bit of essential oils and essential oil supplements is better than nothing at all, okay? They feel amazing. All right, mermaid hair recipe, ready? 10 drops of each in a four ounce bottle topped off with water. So you could make this right in a smaller bottle. You just cut the drops down logically. All right, cedar wood promotes thick and healthy looking hair and scalp, clary sage, promotes healthy looking hair and scalp. Peppermint, invigorating and cleansing. It's stimulating to the root. Geranium keeps the scalp healthy and clean and also provides hair and shine. Rosemary, apply for an abundant looking head of hair. Rosemary helps with hair growth. All right, so cedar wood, clary sage, peppermint, geranium, and rosemary. Do add the thyme oil if your hair situation is hormone related. Uh, clary sage, geranium, and thyme oil are fantastic for hormone balancing, right? So cedarwood, clary sage, peppermint, geranium, rosemary. Thyme oil doesn't smell good. So if your hair situation is not hormone related, uh, you can leave that out. But if it is hormone related, add thyme oil, T-H-Y-M-E. All right, these are doTERRA products only, of course. All right, so super excited, Diane um, Dupes was the winner of the Coach Bag giveaway today. I'm gonna go ahead and do July 1st, Christmas in July giveaway today, just to get everybody excited. And the winner of that, if you are in the US market, you are not going to have to pay shipping. I am going to pay for shipping all products in the US. If you live outside of the US, you are gonna be responsible for shipping, or even better, you can pick a free tool from my website, lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. I have recipe pages, I have all kinds of fun stuff. Um, I have brochures, I have all kinds of good stuff on there. All right, so the first winner for Christmas in July, for July 1st, is Anna Sophia DeCamp. All right, so I'll reach out to Anna Sophia DeCamp. She commented a diffuser recipe that she loves on the July 1st, okay? So make sure and go participate and continue to par participate in past posts. We are still looking um, at past posts as well. Okay, love, love, love it. If you're on my team, Yay Oils, we have a monthly Zoom uh, tomorrow, Friday, July 3rd at noon, Central Standard Time. The link for that is in our private group pinned to the top of the group. 
So make sure and join us on Zoom. We come on, we answer all your questions, we all share testimonials, we share what we love. If you're in my team group, also make sure you're paying attention to the adaptive challenge for emotional health and wellness tips, all right? We've got 10 days of educational material going in there for my private team and then giveaways also associated with that. It's like a giveaway extravaganza this month. I thought we could all use a little pick me up. So um, let's do some fun stuff. All right. I hope you learned a little bit about fennel and ginger. Hope you learned a little bit about digestive health for what I dealt with this week. Wisdom tea, um, all kinds of good stuff going on. And I hope you all make sure and get our doTERRA hair care, all right? Um, the hair care is amazing. Yes, I got an amazing haircut and highlights and all kinds of fun stuff. But the shine and quality of my hair and how fast it grows is all thanks to doTERRA's lifelong vitality, essential oil vitamins, shampoo, conditioner, and root to tip serum. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week. Happy oiling. Bye.